Anikolapo is a movie about Yoruba ancient story. The storyline circles around Akala bed, a bed that has the power of resurrection. When people die in an untimely way with its divine ability, the mystical Akala bed resurrects them. But if the person's time is due, the mystical bed allows their passage to the great beyond. During this ancient time, when someone dies in Yoruba land, it is said that they go to rest and they are not buried. Rather, the sacred forest is where the corpse is taken to. Then, the Akala bed is the one to decide if they are actually worthy to die or to live. The story of how powerful this bed was back in the days started with Saru, a handsome traveler from Gobon who came to the village of Oyoile to rest while traveling to the neighboring village to seek new markets for his clothes within business. While he was resting in Oyoile, Awarun, who was the first woman that met him, asked him who he was and where he's from, and he explained to her and she told him that he's lucky, that he will make good fortune in Oyoile if he's actually good in his clothes weaving business. After she advised Saru, he then decided to stay in Oyoile to do his clothes weaving business. The woman welcomed him and served him food. While he was eating, Arawun asked him if he already has a career in clothes weaving business somewhere else and with capital to start the business in Oyoile. Saru told her no that he's looking for someone who would be willing to partner with him. The woman laughed and told him that it doesn't work that way in Oyoile, that he needs to have a capital to start the business in Oyoile. Then she advised him to start working manual jobs in order to save up capital to start his clothes weaving business. She even offered him a job to start with. That was how Awarun introduced Saru to her clay molding business as a laborer. Saru started working for Awarun, and one night, while the handsome Saru was sleeping, Awarun sneaked into his room, seduced him, and they slept together that night. From that day onwards, Saru and Awarun started a romantic affair that made Awarun to treat Saru specially different from other workers. This affair went on for a while, even after she settled Saru by opening his desired clothes weaving business for him in Oyoile. She also surprised him with a land of his own built a house for him and gave him the ownership of these properties. At this point in the movie, I said to myself, so Sugar Mommy has been existing in Nigeria since long time ago. However, Awarun is known for having an affair with different young men who works for her. According to the storyline of the movie, she has slept with almost all the men that works for her and this is the case of one after the other. So Saru was advised by one of Awarun's workers that he was being used by Awarun that what she does is to use handsome men like him and turn them to slave by paying them to work for her. Well, like every other man who is getting nice treatment from a woman, Saru didn't believe it. Until one night, he caught Awarun sleeping with another young guy in her chambers. When Awarun met Saru the next day, they talked about the incident, but she was arrogant at first and bragged about how no one has the right to question her. And Saru at this time was feeling used. He kept remembering how he was told about Awarun and her affairs with young men. The one that pained him the most is the one that he was told that she would use him and then turn him to her slave. Then some days later, Awarun started begging Saru for forgiveness. After all the begging, Saru later forgave Awarun. So to make it up to him, Awarun introduced Saru to the king's palace to start working there as clothes weaver for the king's wives. Saru was very happy to hear the news and from there, Saru and Awarun were back together. When Saru went to the palace for the first time, the king's youngest wife and his eldest daughter fell in love with Saru romantically at first sight. Culturally speaking, it was an abomination for a common stranger in the land to fall in love with a royal blood. However, this was the beginning of Saru's predicament and downfall. Now the question is, did Saru accept any of the royal blood? And if he did, who did Saru go for? The young queen or the eldest princess? Then, after he made his choice, how did Awarun react to it? Was she happy for Saru or was she angry that Saru left her? And then, what led to the involvement of the mystical Akala bed of resurrection? Which is where the story of this movie circles around. These are more are what you will find out when you watch the movie. The movie has a runtime about 2 hours and 22 minutes in total. The story is said to be inspired by Ifayemi Elebi Ibo. Actually, this movie is so interesting. 
Anikulapo is a Nigerian language period piece drama film released on Netflix on 30th September 2022. The film is produced and directed by Kunle Afolayan. It tells a beautiful story through the eyes of culture and tradition set in the pre-colonial era as far as back in the 17th century of the old Oyo Empire. Anikulapo is a story of death, resurrection and the greedy desires of men. It definitely showcases the beauty of African culture, especially that of the Yoruba people of southwestern parts of Nigeria. The name Anikulapo means one who holds death in his paws, and it is all to bring luck and doom, depending on what you choose to do with your life. Artistically and culturally, it is a beautiful movie, which introduces the global audience into the Yoruba culture in terms of storytelling. Maybe they could have cut short the film a bit. Also. The creators of the movie could have told more about the significance of the mysterious bird and then used it more in the film. A lot was lacking from that. For instance, when the so-called Akala bird arrived to resurrect him, we weren't sure if the bird actually wanted to make him alive or if it was Saru's luck that got him out of death trap. It would have been awesome if the significance of the mysterious bird was used more in the movie. Also, the nudity in the movie was so unnecessary. I guess it was there for just a promotional purpose just to lure honey fans to watch the movie. And it actually worked for them. Oh, Bimba Demo actually owes her fans an explanation for going against her words in an interview she did. She actually did the interview earlier this year, where she stated that she would never go nude or act sex scenes because her father always watched her movies. We also want to know why Saru opened his eyes at the ending part. Does that mean he lives on? Anikulapo's plot progression is simplistic, leaving much to be questions, but one thing is certain about it. However, the force of the movie performance is what will effortlessly steal the hearts of audience. As the protagonist, Kunle Remy is a discovery, delivering on the complexity of the anti-hero he portrays. Once you get up to go, you didn't sit. So you didn't All right, cut. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. It's not been a bad first day. If you're new in the channel, I have other movie reviews. You can check it here. Click on this video to watch more of my video reviews. Click it now or it will go away at the end of this video. It's a buyer, you must. It's a buyer, you must. It's a buyer, you must.